Moreland Heritage Manor announced this week they were closing in 90 days, but a nursing home advocate that I spoke with says there needs to be further investigation at these facilities. Wes Bledsoe has been an advocate for nursing homes for nearly 24 years. He says many are being overlooked and need more state oversight. The main problem with nursing homes in our state is corruption. Um, the lack of oversight, the lack of accountability. The owner of Moreland Heritage Manor told me today he's losing thousands of dollars a month and has to close, but Bledsoe worries there's more to it. You know, nursing homes often claim that they're closing due to the lack of funding. However, this particular nursing home is a special focus facility, which means it's had repeated problems for years. He wants to see the state get involved in checking out the finances of facilities. The attorney general's office uh, should work with the state auditor to, con to conduct forensic uh, accounting uh, uh, measures uh, with these facilities and in these facilities where funds have been diverted. According to this report from the State Department of Health, in 2022, 10 nursing homes across the state closed down, only one of them in the OKC Metro. 2023, only three facilities closed. The owner of Moreland Heritage Manor says it boils down to lack of certified personnel, something Bledsoe says is common throughout the state. Staffing is definitely an issue in, in nursing homes. You have difficulty retaining people, which is a huge problem we have in this industry is, is retention. The Moreland facility owner says in the meantime, residents have been asked to relocate to nearby facilities and some employees will be out of a job. Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.